I hate the sea. I wish this whole thing would burn up, and one day it will, nuclear style. Oh, I wish to God that just nuclear hell would rain down and this water would evaporate and all the creatures in the sea would die. There's a hoax that goes on, you know, the scientists, scientists, all right, people, are they, oh, you're a scientist? Do you study energy and field theory? You don't? I'll take you seriously. I'll take everything you see seriously. You must be knowledgeable. And these so-called scientists, all right, it's scientism. It's not science, it's scientism. <coughs> these so-called scientists, what do you study, Mr. White Lab Coat? Is it energy? Is it field theory? Is it something associated with crystals or stones? Oh boy, me surprise. Surprise me, it's not. Boy, yo, 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 ha, ha. It's not. You study, you study what? Pharmaceuticals? Here's your face. Here's your face. Here's the face of the average scientist. Hold on, hold on. Here's, an, here's a highly respected academic researcher. Guess the game's on TV this weekend. I'd better get back to my job. I'm researching under the microscope chemicals today. I wonder what, how we could make medicine. We'll use a chemical. Huh? Is that my son? Is that my son? Are you there? Oh, uh, right guard, uh, Pepsi Cola, Johnson and Johnson. This is underwater real estate that we could be using for factories, for healthy factories, car factories. That's my, that's my vision. Planet race. You want to end racism? You want to save the planet? How about planet race? Okay. And on planet race, it doesn't matter if you're blue or purple or a nerd hurricane. What? On planet race, it doesn't matter if you're blue or purple or green, okay? Because you're going too fast. You're going way too fast. All that matters is the drift, is nailing the perfect drift on one of planet race's half million racetracks. <clears throat> and I'll probably hold the course record for all of them in a Ford Freestyle, in a Ford Freestyle, in a Ford Freestyle, my go anywhere buggy. I drive it with the white glove treatment. I go anywhere in my buggy, white glove treatment. You see what I'm saying? Do you get it? No, you'll never get it. My dream, my vision, my real vision is I roll up in a Rolls Royce Wraith or my go anywhere buggy to a black school slash hospital that I've built. And all the kids, they're, st they're standing outside with their distended hunger bellies. They've got the neck, the bands to stretch the neck out, the gold bands that make their neck elongated. And they come out and they see me, they see me shining, right? <laughs> and they all pour out of the school. They're so excited to see me. They're, yeah, yeah, yeah. hey, yo, Mr. Hyde, yo, yo. Yo, thank you for feeding us and shit. Thank you for them books and, and computers and shit. That's Mr. Hyde, yo. He spent, he spent, I don't know, um, $47.8 million and shit on this school and hospital. Is the reason we breathing, yo. And then a pretty black girl. She's like a teacher, not old enough to be a real teacher. She's like a college student who's teaching classes there. White face, but dark skin. And she would be like, oh my God, Mr. Hyde, you're amazing. Can I in the back of your Ford Freestyle? Mm, I ain't never seen like you. And she'd be wearing this gorgeous like satin dress, like white satin dress. I don't mean to be rude, but can I in the back of your Ford Freestyle? And I would be, I would just be like, you know I can't do that, that would be unethical. Absolutely not, honey. It's unethical. Sex is unethical. 
and I can't let you ruin yourself by being with another man before you marry, before you take a husband. I won't spoil your innocence by taking you to bed before you're married. Receiving a blowjob is sex. It's mouth to penis contact. The man ejects his seed into the woman. This is the definition of sex biblically. And that's the definition that matters because marriage is a no sex contract made before God. Unless you're gay, then you can do whatever you want, which is in the Bible, it's confirmed, and you can lock that one in. It involves feces. I don't want to get into the details, but I've only seen one video of it, but it, yeah, it was disheartening. Um, I felt goosebumps at first, perhaps some sort of morbid excitement at seeing such a disgusting taboo, such disgusting taboo behavior. Oh, there's my copper roof clattering again. Such disgusting behavior unfolding before my eyes in 4K, 60 FPS. But that excitement quickly turned to an existential fear and a deep, deep depression. Nevertheless, they are free to engage in these proclivities in any way they see fit. They call it their go anywhere buggery and they give it the rubber glove treatment. It's locked in. It's locked. It's, I'm sorry. I'm, you're very beautiful and the, your offer to perform oral sex on me, I appreciate it. But I get so frustrated. I get so frustrated when I try to say the word locked because I feel like the word lock or locked or lock should have the sound of a hammer striking a metal anvil. When I say lock, I think it probably sounds cool if I were to review that on video later on, but because of the structure of my skull and my mouth, okay, and my lips and my tongue, I just hear okay. locked, lock, lock. But in my head, I hear I can't let you suck me. I simply can't. And I'm afraid that's where we part ways. I will forever be the mysterious billionaire donor who saved all your people. And I'll be unattainable to you forever. And you will forever be the youthful, glowing, black zebra woman who I jack off to. I could let you blow me. I could take the quick pleasure, uh, you know, bust a nut, or I could be unattainable to you forever. I could present this veil, this misty persona, be the enigmatic billionaire donor who you loved and you continue to love with a burning passion and you weep for me and you're over there and I'm over here. For the rest of your life, you'll be jacking off thinking about my hands around your neck. You'll be flicking your bean and I'll just be fucking cool driving through McDonald's drive through chilling and also hooking up with hot girls and you'll be jealous. Ha! Uh, sneeze.